So the DJI Neo 2 is officially here, and it's already causing a global storm. In China, the drone is flying off the shelves. But for everyone else, it's just confusion. From delayed global launches to battery compatibility issues, this is the story behind what's shaping up to be DJI's most unusual release yet. Let's break it down. Now, in China, the Neo 2 hit stores right after launch day, and it's already all over social media. People are posting unboxings, sample footage, even flight demos. But outside China, nothing. No stock listings, no pre-orders, and barely a mention from DJI's international sites. So what's going on? According to early reports, DJI is rolling out the Neo 2 region by region. Europe is first in line, with an official launch date set for November 13th. After that, distribution will gradually expand, but the timeline for the United States remains unclear. And there's a reason for that. See, the United States still has active trade restrictions that block new DJI models from being approved under the Federal Communications Commission's registration process. That means DJI can't legally sell or activate the Neo 2 there until those restrictions are cleared, and that could take weeks or even months. So, even though influencers and resellers might import units privately, activating them through the DJI Fly app could still fail. In short, you could buy one, but not necessarily fly one. Meanwhile, European distributors are already preparing stock for mid-November. That means countries like Germany, France, and the UK will likely see the first official global rollout outside of China. DJI's new European logistics hub has also been updated with fresh Neo 2 inventory labels, which quietly confirm this phased launch approach. But while everyone's talking about launch dates, there's another topic that's blown up in the comments, the batteries. So here's the truth. The DJI Neo 2 uses a redesigned smart battery. It's a slightly taller, higher capacity pack with a new connector layout. It looks similar to the Neo 1, but the shape and internal circuitry are different. And that means, yes, older batteries are not compatible. The reason, according to Teardown Images, is that the Neo 2 uses a different voltage management board that prevents older batteries from being recognized or charged safely. In theory, you could force fit one, but it won't latch properly or communicate with the drone's onboard power control system. So if you're upgrading from the first Neo, you'll have to buy new batteries too. The upside? The new pack gives you about one extra minute of flight time and seems to hold charge more consistently in colder weather. So while it's annoying for older users, it's not entirely a downgrade just to change DJI could have explained better. Another interesting detail people noticed in early footage is the improved propeller design. The new props are slightly wider with a curved tip, making the Neo 2 quieter and more stable, especially during quick turns. The gimbal has also been reworked, now offering full two-axis stabilization instead of the single-axis design on the first Neo. That upgrade alone makes a big difference when shooting 4K 60 frames per second video. And speaking of footage, Sample clips show that DJI has boosted image sharpness significantly. There's better color tone in daylight and smoother transitions in automatic exposure, especially noticeable when moving from shadow into sunlight. It's not on the same level as the Mini 4 Pro, but it's surprisingly close for such a small drone. Now, let's talk about price. In China, the Neo 2 starts at roughly $205, or around 149.9 yuan. That's a slight bump from the original model, which launched closer to $175. But considering the new stabilization, battery system, and upgraded connectivity, it's still fair value. When it does arrive globally, the price is expected to hover between $250 and $279 US dollars, depending on local taxes and bundles. That will probably include the standard drone, one battery, and charging hub with accessories sold separately. So to sum it all up, the DJI Neo 2 is available now in China, heading to Europe in mid-November, and still waiting on clearance for the United States. The battery situation isn't ideal, but the flight performance, stabilization, and design improvements make it a real upgrade. It's not just a refresh, it's DJI refining what a mini drone can be. For now, it's safe to say the Neo 2 is shaping up to be one of the most impressive compact drones 
DJI has released in years. But the global confusion? That part might take a little longer to clear up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Case closed. For now.